and welcome back to The Morning Blend with our pet project sponsored by Fleet Farm. Well, if you had COVID, you know what it's like to be isolated from the world. So now imagine if you were a poor little puppy. Yeah, Nikki Deschler and Samantha Cooper are here from Hope Safe House and they brought along Ollie right here who is a puppy. He had parvo when he first came to them, so he was pretty sick, huh? I don't even know what that yeah. is. Yeah. They can get it from water and things like that, and the survival rate is not usually very high with parvo puppies, and then they have to be isolated for several months before they can be um, introduced to other dogs safely. Oh. Um, but he is almost two years old now and been in foster home almost his entire life. Um, He's a baby still. Yeah. Yes, you are. He is the good, like the coolest dog. You he, can tell. <laughs> he yeah. is a dog that wants a running buddy. Like yeah. if he could find somebody that would run with him, he would be the happiest dog ever. Aww. All he we wants to runner. do is run. His, his, li run. his life motto is play hard, sleep hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. adorable. I love that you know that much about him too. So he's been in foster care then for all two years. Almost two years. He was adopted out once in return because okay. it just wasn't the right fit for their family. Yeah. With totally. That energy, yep. Right. Um, and so Nikki's been his foster mom with him his, almost his whole life. Aww. He is He's so, so sweet. great. So what kind of home do you think would be right for him? Oh, he definitely, he has a lot of energy to burn. So he, he would definitely do great with um, anybody who loves to do outdoor activities, something to keep him busy. Uh, he's also incredibly intelligent. So somebody who can challenge him, uh, a big yard would be great. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, because of his athleticism, he does like to jump. <laughs> Are you a jumper? I, I have the treats behind me. <laughs> we were hiding them. Someone's treat motivated. <laughs> no. Well, tell us a little bit about your organization and what you do. So um, what we do is we get in dogs and cats from other high, um, from other shelters and humane societies that are overwhelmed and overpopulated and bring them up to Racine, get them completely healthy and then adopt them, by, adopt them out. Got it. Um, so that's kind of how we ended up with, with this guy because they, the shelter or the group that he came from said this dog's really special, but he's really sick. Mm. And so that's kind of how we ended up. And he's with all him. better now? He is 100% yeah. better. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Um, tell us about this next event that you have coming up. It's a Halloween anniversary, right? Yeah. So we're going to be with Hi, our, at our noggin in Kenosha from 12 until 5 uh, this Saturday. Uh, hopefully, Ollie may or may not be there, um, but we're going to have our puppies and some of our other adoptable dogs there. It's kid friendly, dog friendly. Um, so there's going to be tons of events and things going on there. Do you have cats too? We do have cats. Yeah, our cats are in our office, uh, which is on Lathrop Avenue. And we have, I believe, six cats right now in office. And we have some senior cats and we also have some younger kittens too. Now with these events, can people adopt sort of on the spot or? So we don't do on the spot adoptions because we do have an application process we have to do with okay. them. Um, but we will have applications there so that people can fill them out while they're there. Oh, nice. And it usually takes uh, three to five days to process the application, <laughs> but it's usually pretty quick. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's so sweet, you guys. I love it. I love all the good work you're doing. Thank I mean, we're you. so lucky to have so many good organizations. They're doing so much for the animals. And it's always, I think, surprising how many need good homes yeah. and how many people still are yet. Like, it's a perfect time for them this time of year. There's still some outdoor good yeah. time. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Huskies love, love, love the outdoors. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, yeah. All weather. They're all weather dogs. <laughs> they yes. are. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, well, I'm hoping that we have an active family out there who's interested in adopting because I think How that, you know, if dogs want and need activity, it's like that's a pretty th easy yeah. thing for us to give them, oh. which I think is wonderful. Now, some great trails and dog parks, too, that, that you can <laughs> visit, which I think is great. He's like, more he snacks. Knows there's a treat there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the <laughs> snack lady. Yes. Look at his beautiful you, tail. Yeah. So much oh. for being here. Thank we you really for having us. Thank it. you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We love Ollie. Don't forget to attend the Halloween Howell. It's this weekend benefiting Hope Safe House. It's at Arnoggin Brewing, uh, Brewing in Kenosha. If you're interested in adopting Ollie, contact Hope Safe House to fill out an application. He is awesome. Their website is hopesafehouse.org. And a very special thank you as always to Fleet Farm for sponsoring our pet project. You can get the guaranteed lowest prices on dog and cat food right at Fleet Farm.